हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय मिसेस कोमल राहुल परदेशी वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स अँड इंजिनिअरिंग ऑफ वालचन इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर अ लेक्चर ऑन ॲक्सेसिंग अँड रिलीजिंग अँड आय नोड युजिंग अल्गोरिदम आय गेट अँड आय पुट रिस्पेक्टिव्हली द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ धीस सेशन आर ॲट द एंड ऑफ धीस सेशन स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राईब how kernel allocates in core copy of an inode calculate byte offset for given inode number describe how kernel releases in core copy of an inode let us see in core inode recall that inode is nothing but index node as we already know that in unix operating system everything is treated as a file so each file has its unique inode inode has two types disk inode and in core inode disk inode is present on disk while in core inode is present in memory whenever kernel wish to access the copy of an inode it has to copy the content of the disk inode into the in core inode so disk inode is nothing but the disk copy while in core inode is nothing but the memory copy as we already know the in core copy may differ from the disk copy the contents of inode get changed whenever there is change in file content or ownership or permissions etc so it is necessary to write the content of this in core inode back into the disk inode to maintain the consistency of the data present in disk inode now kernel identify the particular inode by their file system number and inode number so the algorithm i get is used to access an in core inode let us see what is an i get algorithm i get algorithm is used to access an in core copy of an inode it is used to allocate the in core copy of an inode the input given to the i get algorithm is file system inode number whenever that inode number is given to the algorithm it has to check whether that inode is present in cache if it is present in the cache then check that whether that inode is locked means whether it is used by some other process if it is used by some other process then the process which wish to access that inode must sleep for the event that inode should become unlocked and it will enter back into the while loop but suppose inode is present in the cache inode is not present in the cache then it has to remove the new inode from the free list it has to reset the inode number and file system number it has to remove that inode from the old hash queue and place it on the new hash queue read the inode from the disk using algorithm buffer read and initialize the inode reference count equal to 1 and return that inode with reference count 1 to the process now suppose that inode is present in cache and it is not locked then kernel has to check whether it is present in free list if it is not present in free list also then kernel has to return an error because in this case kernel don't know when that inode will become free but suppose inode is present in cache it is not locked and it is present on free list means that inode is free so remove that inode from the free list increment the inode reference count return that inode to the process and stop suppose while searching that inode kernel find free list as empty so in this case also kernel can return an error because there are no inodes present on free list so kernel has to wait till other process releases that inode 
so to summarize the i get algorithm is used towards the beginning of the system call whenever a process first access a file and this algorithm returns an i node locked i node to the process with reference count equal to 1 now just pause a video and think if process finds locked i node in cache then process enters in sleep state and it has to start the loop again from the beginning after waking up why this is so means why process has to go to the sleep state if that i node is locked by some other process pause a video and write down your answer yes let us see now as we already studied this algorithm in i get algorithm the input is i node number check whether it is present in the cache if it is present then check whether it is locked or not if it is locked then process has to sleep process has to sleep because that i node already exist in memory so there is no need to take new i node from free list so unlock that i node is placed on the free list of i node whenever process is going to unlock the i node automatically that i node is going to be placed on the free list so to search that i node again process has to start from the beginning of the loop process enters into the sleep state by setting a flag in in core copy of an i node so whenever some other process freeze that i node the all the processes which are waiting for that i node wake up and whenever a particular process get access to that i node for which they are requesting that again that i node gets lock so as that i node is already present in cache no need to take the i node from the free list and process has to sleep for the event that i node should become free by some other process and that's why process enters back into the loop now once that i using i get algorithm the process gets the in core i node now once it gets the in core i node it is the task of kernel to get the content of the disk i node into the in core i node for that purpose kernel has to take the logical disk block number the logical disk block number can be found by using the formula block number equal to i node number minus 1 divided by number of i node per block plus start block of i node list here this operation slash gives the integer part of the quotient now let us consider start disk block number is 2 here we require start disk block number and consider the number of i nodes is equal to 8 so to find out the block number for i node number 9 using the formula we can get the block number for i node number 9 is equal to 3 now as per the given condition if we see this diagram the block starts at block number 2 each has capacity of 8 so 1 to 8 are present in block number 2 9 to 16 are in block number 3 and 17 to 24 are in block number 4 and so on so if we can see here the i node number 9 is present in block number 3 if we search for i node number 18 then we will find it in block number 4 using the formula again okay once we get the block number now it block number of the disk i node now it is the task to read the content of this disk i node into the in core copy of an i node so to read that content we require a byte offset the byte offset is calculated using i node number minus 1 modulo number of i nodes per block into size of disk i node here the modulo operation gives us remainder now consider the size of disk i node equal to 64 bytes number of i nodes per disk block is equal to 8 as given find the byte offset for the i node number 8 so byte offset 8 minus 1 7 modulo 8 will give as a remainder 7 into 64 is equal to 448 so for i node number 8 we will get the byte offset 
448 from where the kernel will read the content of the disk block into an inode so this is what about the iGate algorithm now let us see how kernel releases an inode using the iPut algorithm iPut algorithm is used to release in core inode so input to this algorithm is in core inode lock that inode if it is not already locked decrement the inode reference count if reference count is equal to equal to 0 then check whether the inode link count is 0 if yes then free that disk block using algorithm free set file type to 0 free inode using algorithm i free but if link count is not equal to 0 then check whether the file access permissions has been checked whether the inode contents are changed or whether file contents are changed if yes then update the copy of the disk inode by copying the content of in core inode into the disk inode and then put that inode on the free list so by putting the inode on the free list and releasing that inode we can that kernel can stop and in this way that algorithm i put releases the inode this is what about i get and i put algorithm which is used to access the in core inode and release an in core inode respectively so this is the references thank you